Okay, Jace Tunnel here. Oh man, I'm excited about today. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, hey buddy, hey buddy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Okay, I'm excited today ah, because we get to talk to you about a blue land crab. Man, this sucker is strong. Let's see. I'm not sure if he can get me. Okay, can you see this thing? Beautiful, beautiful blue, little bit of purple. Uh, one big claw, one little claw. Uh, these things are uh, pretty amazing. Uh, let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Um, these things, uh, they burrow. They, they, you don't see them that often at the beach. I see them maybe a couple times a year. Um, but they burrow like five feet in the ground and they stay in that burrow uh, most of the time. Like in the spring and summer during heavy rains or something like that, you'll get like a little migration of them. If you have them in your area, they're always, you know, within five miles of the coast. They can be found around the Gulf of Mexico, um, even all the way down to Brazil. And so, um, you know, they, they can be common in, in certain areas. So uh, these, you might be looking at this claw and be like, what, why are the claws different sizes? Uh, well, they can regenerate these things. So if one falls off, another one grows back. And, uh, and people do eat these. So people eat the claws and the legs. I mean, look how big this thing is. It's huge. And I'm really impressed with the color, the, the uh, real, it's kind of purple. Uh, look at that, watch the eyes here. Let's see if you can see that. You see that, the eyes go into these sockets to protect it. And then, whoo, bringing them back up. So it can check me out. Uh, let's see, the, the females, so once they come out, the, the females anyway, um, they go down to the water and that's where they lay their eggs. And they can actually lay 300 to 700,000 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Now, this is not to be confused with the blue crab. So blue crab has a very different shape. You actually hold them a little bit different. Like, uh, I would not be holding a blue crab uh, up this high because it would be able to get me. I usually hold it in on the back, back side of it. Um, these are omnivorous. Uh, so they go around, they can eat plants. They can actually uh, eat insects and stuff like that that they find. Uh, they, they can actually eat each other. So they're cannibalistic. So if they find a dead one, um, you know, laying around or something, they can actually go and eat it. We have a lot of these, if you look around in uh, the Corpus Christi area, so I'm near Port Aransas right now, but uh, in Corpus Christi, there's the Oso Bay. Uh, there is a big population of them, especially around the, the Texas A&M Corpus Christi campus. Man, we'll get a heavy rain like in the summertime and, and we'll get hundreds of these just coming out into the parking lot. And so that's sort of a sight to see and something to look forward to if you actually want to see these things. They can molt up to 60 times. Um, and they live up to about 15 years. So that, that's a pretty long time, you think, for, for a crab. Uh, they can actually cap their holes uh, to protect them. Okay, so uh, with that, I think that's about all. I really just wanted to show y'all um, you know what this thing what this thing is and let me see if i can set it down and see if it runs away or see what it does well anyways Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Woo. okay now normally what i say is you know don't mess with wildlife i'm just trying to educate y'all here on what this thing's about and uh whoa look at him that's the defense mechanism so they, they, they have their claws up like this to make them look big. Uh, but they can actually have a pretty good bite on there too. Okay, we'll let this guy go. We'll see you next time.